Hello, and welcome back to our Free Space 1 Let's Play Poorly. Here we go. New cutscene. When the destroyers came for us, we attacked. Never had we been defeated. They were like the others. Strange, hideous, resisting, fighting. Only these were not like the others. They did not die. We made our first retreat. We could forgo one system. We left it to the destroyers and went elsewhere. But they followed. They hunted us. They followed us when we retreated, discovered where we lived. For a long time, we did not know why they chased us. They were no ordinary enemy. They did not seek our territory, our technology, our resources. Now we know our crime was sin. Well, that's creepy. We've just received some discouraging news from Terran Command, pilots. At 0300 today, after the captured Tyrannus was towed to Tombaugh installation in the Ribo system, the Sheevan staged a major ambush. There isn't a lot of confirmation from the footage yet, but it's clear that a Sheevan destroyer of massive proportions jumped in and destroyed Tombaugh Station, along with all of its defenses. We have designated this new class of destroyer, Lucifer. Debris from the station is still falling from orbit on Ribos 4. Terran and Vesudan fighters and cruisers engaged the Lucifer, but were wiped out quickly. Footage suggests that Lucifer was using a new type of shield, impervious to any of our attacks. Needless to say, this is grim news. If the Sheevans indeed have managed to shield a vessel of that magnitude, it's merely a matter of time before they wipe out all frontline installations and march through to our home systems. Since all attempts at communication with the Sheevans have ended in violence, it appears unlikely that a diplomatic solution will work. At this point, the Sheevans have control of Beta Cygni, Betelgeuse, Ross-128, Ikea, and Regulus. Most of the Vesudan forces are gathering in Vega for a counter-strike, while we are gathering our fleet in Antares for an effort to retake Ribos and Beta Cygni. Oddly enough, the Sheevans don't seem to be interested in taking control of any planets in the systems or gathering natural resources. Instead, they seem to be focused on controlling individual jump nodes. Research and development teams at Seoul have recently completed development on a few new weapons. A group of Terran scientists has returned from a previously unexplored system known as Alaramus and bring with them a new weapon called the Flail. The Flail is quite different from our typical energy cannons. Please consult the weapons database in the tech room for more details. Our communications with Vesudan technicians have yielded the interceptor missile. By combining the Vesudan-designed engine with a Terran warhead, we were able to produce the most powerful anti-fighter weapon yet. It's an aspect-seeking missile and requires a few seconds to lock onto the enemy's engine signature, but its speed and accuracy make it lethal. Use it well. All right, let's see what we've got going on here. The survivors of the Tombaugh attack must be evacuated from the Ribos system immediately. We do not have sufficient firepower to retake Ribos at this time. Your wing's objective is to escort the IOTA transports. Other wings will be accompanying this convoy. Alpha Wing will be in charge of this operation and will have command authority. The convoy must reach the designated checkpoint. Escort from this point onward will be provided by Allied Vesudan forces, led by the PVD Pinnacle. Hostile forces have been spotted all over this system, and there's a good chance that our convoy will be attacked by Sheevan fighters. All hostile forces should be eliminated. The PVD Pinnacle will be arriving at the designated checkpoint. This Typhon-class destroyer has one of the most skilled crews in the PVE. It will escort the refugees for the remainder of their journey. Help the Pinnacle until it has dismissed you, then return to base. Many lives depend on this operation. Good luck. All right, let's see what we got here. We got to escort, destroy the fighters. What's our weapon loadout? Medium cannon, 
Do we do anything weird? No, we don't want anything weird. And then a dogfight missile, fast lock on, unguided rocket, or the standard missile, heat seeking. I guess, yeah, we're gonna go with what they want us to go with. Let's, uh, let's see how this goes. God, these guys move so slow. Stresses you out having to wait. DTF R Nelson requests. There we assistance. go. forces hit our wing. We have taken severe home oh. damage. Oh no. Oh boy. Here we go. Okay. Enemy presence detected. Engaging enemy. One there, okay. One more. Any anything? No. He's dead. Okay. I am notifying Terran Command of the attack on the GTFR Nelson. Keep on your toes. There could be more. I'm sure there will be. Out there. The wing has just arrived. Engaging enemy. Watch your back, sir. Come on. I got it. I got it. Come on. Heads up. We've got visitors. Ah, that's a lot.
Alright. Um Enemy oh boy. Detected. Oh shit, 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 we better get over there. Come on, guys. Breaking to Got him? Alright. Ooh, our guys aren't doing so great. How far do we have to go? I think I heard something. No, I guess not. Thirty seconds to the waypoint. Shit! Wait, no, that's the good guys. Right? Please tell me that's the good guys. Sorry we were late. We were assisting a convoy of freighters that were ambushed by the Hammer of Light. Engaging enemy. Too soon. All right, I think we're good. Thank you for your assistance. We can Yay! Alpha and Beta, turn to base.
Great job, Alpha One. You managed to save all three of the IOTA transports from the Shivan attacks. You were told by the crew of the Pinnacle to congratulate you on a job well done. The civilians on those transports owe you their lives as well. Yay, we did it! Nope. 30% primary hit. I'm getting a little better, I guess. Seven assists. Six kills. I like it. The GTS Asimov and the GTC Ravage are under attack in the Antari system. The GTS Asimov was working on Project Tsunami, which involves hyperactive substances. These substances are extremely volatile. If the Asimov is destroyed, the reagents are likely to reach critical mass. Analysis predicts a shockwave of up to 5 kilometers in radius. Oh dear. The station is in bad shape. We need to clear the area, then transport the scientists out of there. When the area is secure, the GTT Spammer will jump in and retrieve the scientists. After they have been safely evacuated, return to base. We have five ships waiting in the hangar. We have no time to get them fully loaded out, so you'll need to use what you've got. Suit up. You're launching in two minutes. Yo, boy. All right, what do we got? Oh, no. We've only got what we got. All right, he really meant that. We've got so... Oh, God. We already have company. I don't want more company. The apartment's full. Go! Sorry. That's our guy. Excellent. There he goes. New bandits in the area. Engaging now, sir.
As Moth is not doing great, it's down to 53%. Okay. Oh no, no. Clear we're good. The rest of the hey! The there are no more hostiles. We did it. Great job, pilot. You managed to protect the Asmo. All the data for Project Tsunami has been secured, and it should be completed within days. The crew of the GTC Ravage thanks you for saving their lives. The Shivans will find their assault on Antares far more difficult with the Ravage on board. For saving the crew of the GTC Ravage, we are awarding you the Medal of Conspicuous Gallantry. Conspicuous Gallantry! I like that! Alright, 21% primary hit, 2 assists, 3 total kills. I'll go with that. Yeah. And I think I'm going to end it here. We've done two very successful missions. I don't want to jinx it. When we come back, we continue, and... Uh, Hopefully continue to do as well as we've done this time around. Thanks for watching. See you next time.